You're so young, but you're already quite twisted. He looks like he's got some experience walking down that path. He's an expert. You guys are the worst. The allure of another's wife? It's insatiable? Maybe I'll need to study some more. Well, it's not the time to be discussing people's tastes. By the way, you... You're talking to me? Rhiannon clearly just called you Eren-sama. In that case, you're the chief of the Gale tribe, Demon King Eren. That black clothing and that face match what I've heard. Hmm, I wonder... Her revenge for before? Then, let's both answer honestly. At least, the people I've brought here are all members of the Brigantes tribe, and the Brigantes village is within this forest. You've now entered into the Brigantes tribe's domain. And furthermore, the, Al or the Avalon that you've moved into, and the surrounding region, is the land of the elves, a forbidden sacred ground to those living in Albion. Even if we may be distant relatives, you can understand that we wouldn't be pleased about your entering without permission, right? To say nothing of the fact that you're opposing the Empire and our wanted men. You burned your village, killed the high priest, raided the harbor, and keeps uh, skirmishing with the Empire here. You're quite well aware of our situation uh, for a minstrel. From whom did you hear? Huh. Who was it? Probably the whispering of the wind. Well, whatever. It'll be clear soon. Before we leave here, I'll answer your question. As you asked, it's true that I am Eren. That's how I've addressed myself until now, and how I've been called. You can <clears throat> you can confirm everything else with your own eyes. Arthur, the Brigantes village lies ahead. Let's go. Roger. <laughs> Not so fast. Wait just a minute, or wait just a moment. I can't allow that. Oh, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, minstrel? Do you plan to play bandit? Like you said, you aren't called the Brigantes for nothing. I'll do whatever I feel like. I'm, uh, capricious. You see, I told you, didn't I? I've come to like that name. I don't really mind being feared as a bandit, and it's nice to change the minds of those who scoff at you. That's all. We just want to go to the village ahead. It would be a slight problem if you went by any further. Sorry, but I can't let you through. Wait, you think we'll agree and go back with just that? We have business here. What business do you have in the Brigantes village? It's a remote place with nothing interesting in it. We want to meet the chief. We want to consult with him about the Empire's movements and the future. So, let us through. The chief... <laughs> so, you want to meet the chief? What's so funny? <laughs> Sorry about that. The previous chief passed away long ago. The one we came to see is the current chief. Ah, you guys don't know, do you? The Brigantes right now don't have a chief. It's because of an accursed prophecy. 
an accursed prophecy. The village druids received a prophecy. It said that the chief's heir would be brought very bad luck. It said, a great calamity will befall the next chief of the Brigantes. He will violate the taboo of the gods, he, uh, be engulfed in the darkness of hell, and finally become prey to a fearsome beast. It's an unavoidable fate. Ridiculous. Regardless of fate, someone has to succeed the chief, right? It's an important duty passed down for generations, right? You guys have duties imposed on you, right? Then, why don't you do your utmost? Arthur, <laughs> you were raised to be a very... Or you were raised to be very straightforward. I see. You're a fine man. You're the... Or you're of the lineage of Pwil, after all. The or the successor of the ancient kingdom really are <clears throat> really are different from normal people. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You guys are just running away, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe you're right. We're running away, aren't we? There's nothing else we can do. Isn't there? You guys are weird. Arthur, don't get carried away. You're just a fool who can't see anything after all. What? Arthur, <laughs> you haven't thought of it this way, have you? If you had, if you had found something more precious to you than fulfilling the duties imposed on you, then... You'd be troubled, wouldn't you? You'd wonder... Well, why you had to be bound by duties imposed on you from birth instead of being able to do as you desired. Even though you have something you want to do more, why do you have to uphold your duty to sit or, or sit waiting for a terrible fate? <laughs> how could you or how could I understand these jokes from such a wimpy bunch as you? I can't trust anything you say. First, I need to go to the Brigante's village. I'll see for myself whether there's a chief or not. And that's not possible, Arthur. I told you before that I can't let you pass, right? Why? The Gale tribe are your brethren, right? Why can't you let us pass? There's a chief, isn't there? You're lying. That's why you won't let us pass. Well, it's not like I haven't told any lies. Well, there you go. But you've also inherited the blood of the wise elf king. So you'll come to understand eventually why we don't want to let you pass. Why don't you want to let us pass? Or no, why you don't want to let us pass? Nah. It's precisely because you are brethren. If the, if the Empire hostile Gale tribe entered the Brigante's village, that would provoke the Empire. They want to avoid trouble. And that's how it is. As expected of the Gale chief, you understand well. That's why I'm telling you that we won't leave until we've accomplished our objective, whether you like it or not. Oh, that's too bad. I thought you were a bit smarter than that. You've overestimated me. We're forcing our way through, Arthur. Yeah! I see. So in the end, you're going to use force. Fine, let's have a fight. If you beat us down until we surrender, I promise to let you pass. I won't let anyone else interfere. <laughs> since you're so, or since you so harshly called us wimps, my friends are getting worked up too. You can see for yourselves the power of the Brigantes. These guys! I know. Don't kill them. Just give them a good beating. Roger! Alright! 
Here we go! Yeah! Ugh! I really don't want to kick his ass! Because, oh my god, swoon! But I have to! I'm so sorry, Talison! I'm so sorry! You're the one who's making me do this! Oh god! <laughs> Talison! Don't make me do this! No! Talison! <laughs> Man! Okay, here we go. God fucking. Ah. Wow, wowzers! Okay! Okay! Go ahead! Yes! Heal him! Thank fucking god! Oh, Jesus Christ! Alright! What level are they? 20. Yikes. Yikes! Oh no. Okay. Alright, 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 alright! Okay! Ah! Okay, okay. We've got it, we've got it, we've got this! Ah. Damn. We have this. We've got this. We have got this on lockdown. Come on. No, Rathy. No! Okay, maybe we don't have this on lockdown. Maybe not. Okay. Okay! <sighs> Alright. There. Go. Come on. Octavia! Nah. Come on, Octavia. No! Ugh. Okay. Oh my fucking god. Morgan, who the hell are you even attacking? I don't know. Come on. Oh. I think I know who you're attacking. Yeah. You're attacking that one. God damn it. Alright, Morgan. Um, attack this one. Go on. Shoot! Okay, okay. We're good now. We're, we're okay. Morgan, attack. Whoop. Attack him. There we go. Alright, now Morgan, attack that archer. Go for it, go! Come on. Fuck you, priestess! Goddamn! Ah. God damn it! Stop that! Okay. Go, Morgan. Good. Uh, one more hit. No! Ah! Alright, come on. Just one more. Mm, stop missing! No! Fuck you! Oh my god. Lear, stop missing! Please! <sighs> Alright, come on. Yeah! There we go! Finally! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Morgan is on auto battle now, I guess. Right? Yeah, auto and leave it to the CPU. There we go. Come on, healers, please! No! Fuck! Nah, Talison! Yes! Thank you, Morgan. 